I am a mature woman of 45 years old. My name is Anastasia, and this is my experience, one that will make you feel many things. I have a restless body and mind, a fascination for life that knows no limits. And in that fascination, I find an inexhaustible source of experiences that drives me to keep going, to keep enjoying, to keep living with passion. I kept a big secret and this secret was my fascination with men younger than me. I loved them, their youth, their skin and everything I would feel if I let myself go. What was I looking for? What was happening to me? This attraction was a dormant volcano, a latent fire that threatened to erupt at any moment. I knew it was a dangerous game, a path that could lead me to ruin. But the force of that desire was so powerful that I felt trapped in its web, unable to resist its spell. Age, experience, wisdom, everything faded before the intensity of that longing that consumed me. I was torn between my husband and that small, big desire. Have you ever felt attraction of this kind? My husband traveled for work and my days were long, in my exploration and desireful mind I began to see my nephew with different eyes, not of tenderness, but of passion. My son always brought him home to sleep, he was such a handsome young man that despite knowing that I shouldn't do it, the attraction existed. His body was a magnet, an irresistible force that drew me to him with an intensity that terrified me. It was a constant desire, a fire that burned inside me without rest, feeding on every look, every gesture, every word we shared. My nephew, my blood, my responsibility, was the embodiment of everything that was right in the world. His smile, his gaze, his laughter, everything about him filled me with a joy that made me forget the shadows that loomed over my soul. But that same joy turned into torment when I was near him. His mere presence made my skin crawl, awakening a desire that filled me with guilt and shame. It was a desire that shouldn't exist, a forbidden longing that tormented me relentlessly. The closeness of his body, the warmth of his skin, the fragility of his youth, everything provoked a reaction that wasn't normal, but I couldn't help it. My mind, in a desperate attempt to resist, clung to logic, reason, morality. And then, the barrier broke. Logic vanished, reason shattered, morality crumbled. I fell into the nets of desire trapped in its web of emotions, enveloped in its aura of passion. It wasn't a premeditated act, it wasn't a conscious decision. It was a fall, a surrender, a surrender to the irresistible force of desire. Morality stopped mattering to me in order to enjoy pleasure. Would you enjoy it or would you feel guilty? It was a desire that consumed me a force that forced me to fight against my own principles. I knew it was a dangerous game, a path that could lead me to ruin. But the force of that desire was so powerful that I felt trapped in its web, unable to resist its spell. It was as if the universe conspired to make that day happen, as if an invisible force guided me towards a pre-established path, towards a destiny that I could not avoid, it was as if fate wanted it, or rather my libido, and my soul needed it. But deep within my soul, a faint voice whispered, something is going to happen, something is going to change. It was a vague feeling, an intuition that I could not explain, a premonition that I could not ignore. Everything happened, my nephew stayed to sleep and my body sensed his closeness. As I rolled around in bed I went to the kitchen for some milk, my nightgown was so short and stuck to my skin that I would be very exposed, actually wanting him to see me. But I don't know if it was such a good idea, he was there without a shirt only in shorts drinking water. I could see his Adam's apple lowering, everything was in slow motion making the huge and burning pupils of my eyes dilate and turn dark, making it hard to swallow saliva when I saw him. 
He simply was not oblivious to what was waking me up and his eyes met mine and that was the beginning of losing my sanity. The tension broke, giving way to a wave of desire that swept us both away. Desire took over us, an irresistible force that dragged us into a whirlwind of emotions. His eyes scanned every space, leaving me breathless, with my heart pumping uncontrollably. Logic faded, reason surrendered to the intensity of the moment. We fell into an abyss of passion, a whirlpool of sensations that completely enveloped us. Pleasure took over us, an explosion of sensations that left us breathless. We let ourselves go with the flow, abandoning ourselves to the intensity of the moment, regardless of the consequences. We discovered a new path together, an unexplored territory where guilt and shame dissolved into a whirlwind of emotions. It was a dangerous journey, a path that led us to an abyss of unpredictable consequences. But in that instant, there was only pleasure, connection, the intensity of the experience. The kitchen witnessed that which was as forbidden as it was pleasurable. It lit a fire that burned inside me. His lips, soft and warm, took me to a world of sensations that left me breathless. It was a dangerous journey, a path that led me to the force of desire. It was an abyss that completely enveloped me, that made me forget the outside world, that immersed me in a sea of sensations that left me breathless. It made me question my own limits, that pushed me towards a territory where guilt and shame were driven away by the force of desire. My nephew's gaze, full of desire and discovery, attracted me towards him with an irresistible force. His hands, agile and sure, guided me through a labyrinth of unknown sensations. It was a journey that transformed us, that made us question our limits, that pushed us towards a territory where morality vanished before the force of desire. That encounter with my nephew was a moment that marked my existence in a way that I will never forget. It was an encounter that transcended the physical, and was engraved in my soul like an indelible mark a seal of fire that would accompany me until the end of my days. Despite the consequences, despite the guilt that tormented me, that encounter was the best thing that had ever happened to me. It was a moment of deep connection, of emotional intensity that transported me to a place where time and space ceased to exist. It was an encounter that made me feel, that awakened emotions that I thought were dormant. It was an encounter that made me question my own limits, that forced me to face my darkest desires, my deepest fears. It was an encounter that made me feel free, that freed me from the chains of morality and reason. It was an encounter that left a mark on me forever, an encounter that changed my life. It was an adventure, a fleeting flare that illuminated the darkness of my routine, a whirlwind of emotions that made me feel alive, free, full. An instant of passion that left its mark on my memory, a memory that clings to me like an obsessive melody, a melody that I cannot forget. The secret we kept, the forbidden encounter that had united us, became a pact, an oath of silence that sealed our destiny. My husband, oblivious to everything, unaware of the volcano that burned beneath the surface of our relationship. But it is better this way. Would you be able to judge me? Silence became our accomplice, an invisible wall that protected us from the outside world. No one but my nephew and I knew the truth, the intensity of the desire that had united us, the guilt and shame that accompanied us. It was a secret that we carried with us, a weight that oppressed our souls. It was a secret that united us, that made us accomplices in an act that had transformed us forever. It was a secret that became an invisible bond, a chain that tied us to each other, a pact of silence that condemned us to live in hiding. But the affair was also a betrayal, a violation of the sacred vows that united me to my husband and me. It was an act of rebellion, a break with the security of routine, 
a search for something beyond the known. And in that act of rebellion, in that search for the unknown, fear is hidden. The fear of my husband's reaction, of the pain that the truth would cause him, of breaking the trust that we had spent so much time building, also weighed on me, but nevertheless I liked doing it and I enjoyed it. No one can look inside our minds, unravel the threads of our motivations, understand the complexity of the circumstances that led us to act as we did. Therefore, no one can judge what we did. Because judgment is a double-edged sword that cuts with the same force inward as outward. By judging others, we condemn ourselves to the prison of intolerance, to the darkness of incomprehension. No one can judge desires and I don't ask them to do so. I like to live, to experiment and maybe it's not right, but that fantasy passed and without thinking about it it was the best encounter of my life. Would you feel judged or perhaps guilty? I am a woman who does not need to be judged, only understood. Life is one and you have to live it. Do you believe that?